perhaps trying to find some humor from a dreary global financial situation. Dr. Ralph Gonzalez says a crisis is a terrible thing to waste. The Vincentian leader says as the world faces extraordinary financial turmoil, survival is the key, and for the OECS it lies in unity and the economic union. Dr. Gonzalez says OECS islands have not been spared the effects of the global financial crisis, and prospects for 2009 do not look good. The troubles of the CL Financial Group and Clico, the fallout of, of the collapse of the Stanford business empire, and job losses in major tourism and other business enterprises across the region attest to the enormity of the tasks at hand. Clearly, it is not going to be a walk in the park this year or in the immediate future. The Vincentian leader says this troubled financial period should go down in history as a time when the islands united under a common goal. This, he says, should be the enduring legacy. The realization of the quest for a more perfect union of the member countries of the OECS is urgent and compelling. This is more than ever most vital if we are to emerge from the depths into which our region has been plunged. A condition occasioned not by circumstances, occasioned by circumstances largely not of our own making, but which have come upon us mainly from outside. And for those who believe that the economic union will chip away at St. Lucia's sovereignty, Dr. Gonzalez says this is not the case. He says the union will not undermine the island's constitution. The draft treaty for the OECS and its attendant protocol of Eastern Caribbean Economic Union does not undermine the constitutional integrity or the very constitution of any of the member states of the OECS. Indeed, the enhanced areas of legislative competence entrusted to the OECS under the draft treaty are by way of delegation, which would be conferred in two express ways. First, by the enactment of the treaty into domestic law of each member country of the OECS. And secondly, by the passage of a specific and common act of parliament in each member country to provide legal and constitutional clothing for decisions taken by the OECS authority. In August 2008, OECS leaders signaled their intention to pursue the economic union by 2011. This will be followed by appropriate levels of political integration by 2013. The leaders say OECS nationals will benefit significantly from the initiatives. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.